everyone out there and the beautiful picture you're seeing. Ah, now you got the ugly ones back. Well, <laughs> one of them anyway right here. Uh, that was kind of scary, wasn't it? Yeah, I kind of teased you a little bit. I'm Jerry McKee. And, and I'm Scarlett. And she's Scarlett. And um, we are got a wonderful guest tonight, and you're going to enjoy. And please, uh, I'll have a number up there for you to call in. After we do some little preliminaries right here at the beginning. And uh, we're thank you for being with us. And Scarlett, you have a good week. I had a great week. Well, that's good. I'm glad you had a great week. And uh, no baby yet. No Not baby a, yet. Yep. Oh, she's irritable and exhausted. Yeah. Well, Scarlett's going to going to be a grandmother. Can you see her grandmother? Wow, I tell you. But uh, <laughs> anyway, you can tell I'm the grandfather, right, with white hair and stuff. But um, we, we're going to have Madison Gregory. She's right here with us, and uh, she's going to give you some wonderful uh, tips on if you have a daughter that's going to be in some pageants. She's going to tell you about her experiences, and uh, you're going to really enjoy some of the things that she's went through. And I, I know it hadn't been easy because I can only imagine. I, I'm glad I don't have to put makeup on. Oh, I that's love makeup. Thing. Pageants yeah. are fun. They are so fun, Jerry. I did pageants when I was younger. You did? I did. Oh, you got any pictures? I do, actually. Uh, I didn't bring them And you didn't me, bring them? I wouldn't think. I've been so wrapped up. This baby's about to come, and my daughter is being so demanding that I've not. Uh, we, we could have put this up here. That, then, uh, I had the big ball hair, like, you know, the a ball 80s. Hair. No, it's called 80s hair. It looks like, you wouldn't remember it, it Madison, it, but this hair, it took so much hairspray. It, was it like rave number yeah. four or suave or? Did you have all your teeth? Of course, I have okay. all my teeth. Well, I know sometimes and it wore teeth purple, purple, and it had this big thing on. I was in like three different. Yeah, products. we have to see that picture. Definitely it was something else. That's right. Something well, else. You know what? Let's uh, go with this. some entertainment. What is going on on our Netflix? This... There's um, lots of top movies. There's the um, Tom Cruise one, Maverick. The um, the Top Gun, Maverick. I've watched it. It's actually pretty good. It's actually yeah. I went to the good. movies and watched that. It's, it's it's good. I like the first one better, but. You know, and then the um, the glass onion. That's kind of like what you like to do. Is that what? But the I glass like? onion. The glass onion. It's like a murder mystery. Oh, okay, movie. yeah, yeah. Now, like I'm like, thinking, glass onion. Do I like to do a glass <laughs> onions. Yeah, spray me a glass of onions, please. <laughs> it's like this man. He's very wealthy, and he has these friends, and he's well. Saying, that's me out. He sends. <laughs> I wish you were wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> he sends out this box that is like a puzzle thing to get into and invites his friends to his private island where they're going to solve the mystery of his death. Um, and there's a big twist to it. Oh, it's awesome. Okay. I watched it. Um, you've got Wednesday, which that is a, that's a series. That's the, um, I've got to ask. Madison, can you do the Wendy dance? The Wednesday dance. Wednesday dance, yes. No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> My son Aubrey can do it. I tell you what. Uh, well, uh, now, Madison, I know all uh, TikTok's got them all over there, and actually, I've seen some old people doing it, and it's pitiful. It is. Even I wouldn't do that. Even I put some crazy videos out there, but I'm not gonna do a, the Wednesday dance. No, no. <laughs> have you ever tried it? No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scarlett, <laughs> tell us, have you tried it? I have tried it. Just because you said something about it, I asked Aubrey, I said, Aubrey, teach me that dance. He's like, why? <laughs> why would you? I said, Jerry wants that dance, and I thought I would send it to him just in case the baby come in. I wasn't here. He could play it, and he's like, Mama, no, just no, just no. I'm like, and I was watching some of the older people, and they didn't all look too pitiful. Some of them were cute. I could probably pull it off. Oh, for real. well, we we, we got to see a video of that, and we'll put that on along with your pageant days. We want to see that too. The pageant that, days were awful. Yeah. Those were eighties and nineties, and we well, were something else. And they weren't as they weren't as elite as they are now. Like pageants now, you can get scholarships for. You know, pageants now build confidence. Right. But, now, but about your teamwork. movie, let's go back to the movies now. We'll, uh, so we'll I said pageants, Top uh, Gun, Maverick. I said The Glass Onion. The Glass Onion. Um, there is, um, and Wednesday, that's a series. There's another series that um, protects the teens. It's called Georgia and Jenny. Have you seen any of I that? I have not seen it, but I've heard a bunch of people say that it's really good. It is good. But don't give away anything. There's some there's some <laughs> things I could see parents and like, no, we're not gonna watch this, but then I could see where this mother is shamelessly going to do what needs to be done for these kids. And and it, it was pretty I watched all of it nonstop. I just binge watched it. Binge watch it. Oh, yeah. okay. 
Well, that sounds good. And, uh, of course, my favorite one at the movies is Piss and Boots. And, uh, Did you go see it yet? No, I didn't get to see it yet. I can't get in to go see cartoons. She won't go. <laughs> won't let you no, she won't go at all. Well, we still got some events uh, coming up uh, in February. The Let's see here. We got uh, February the 4th coming up, which is Mother Son Hero Dance. Uh, that's at the Wildwood Ranch on uh, 276 Mount Tabor, Jonesville, uh, Mount Tabor Church Road. And uh, actually, we're going to have uh, Aubrey on here next week, and he's going to tell a little bit about this event coming up. And also, he's going to tell a little bit uh, about the, the Wildwood Ranch. Have you ever been to the Wildwood Ranch? I have. It, it is so neat, isn't it? it it's is. like a western town, and he built this from a, from a scratch. And I did an uh, uh, interview with him and a walkthrough and uh, broadcasted it four years ago. And I know he's had a lot more stuff to us, so I'm excited about seeing him uh, being here with us next week and we'll have uh sheriff bailey and uh chief mcgee here the week after that uh that'll be monday the 6th of february and we're going to have the south carolina paranormal and investigators here i don't know what day it's going to be yet but it is coming up in february so stay tuned for all these wonderful things we got coming up also uh we got the father Daughter Dance is put on by the Union County Junior uh, Charity League Friday, February the 10th. Uh, watch the Facebook page. They'll give you your dates and where you can get tickets and everything there. So that's coming up. Save that date. That's already always a good one, and it's a good charity uh, to also to give to. So, And uh, we're going to get into your uh, event here in just a minute, but we're going to uh, – switch gears now and we're going to let someone else talk a little bit too instead of us and we're going to introduce you to madison gregory and madison is our uh, union county fair teen queen ah, got all that one one like that and she looks so pretty <laughs> isn't she better look at than she we are so beautiful yes. absolutely yes. gorgeous and uh, uh, madison uh, tell us a little bit about uh your academics and where you go to school at, and just a little bit about yourself, where everybody know. Um, so I am a sophomore at Union County High School. Um, I am currently taking English, which I absolutely love my teacher. That class is so fun, and health science um, because I actually want to go into the medical field and be a trauma surgeon. Um, I'm a cheerleader at the high school, and I do five competition dances, which takes up a lot of my time. Um, and then other than that, you know, spending time with friends and actually starting to get to work on this South Carolina journey. Well, I know you have a very, very busy schedule with all that going on like that, because I've seen you in all the parades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were so beautiful Yes, we well, zoomed in. Parades. Yeah, it's coming down like that, waving, and she's trying to do that wave. She can't do that wave. She... I, I, I'm just, everybody thinks I'm old now. Yeah. I just might as well just go. Yeah, she, she waved like this instead of, you know, like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, actually, do they tell you how to wave? No. No, you just got to no. do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Madison, and you got to do it poised, right? Yes. So you're a sophomore yes. at the high school, and that's a great medical field you're going into. And uh, you just wanting to be a surgeon? Yes. Right. And there's another uh, field that you maybe was looking at, too. Trauma. Trauma. Being a trauma uh, a nurse practitioner. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Yes. I have some great fields and a lot of education, but you're young. You can get that don't, done. Don't give up on it. Just don't. What college are you thinking about going to first? I really want to stay here for my first four years um, just because mm -hmm. I want to be at home. And then once that's over, I kind of want to go to Columbia and finish out the rest of my medical school there. So well, they got a great yeah. University of South Carolina. They've got a great school here. And Columbia is good. Whitney went from Walford to Columbia, but doing USC Union is going to be great because their stuff will transfer out. Some private colleges the credits won't go out. So that's a really good yeah. plan. Yeah, and, and, and if people, if you see a hand going across over there where oh. uh, <laughs> Madison's at, it's uh, Scarlett doing the, like the Hawaiian wave here or something. It's the Wednesday. Uh, so day. we're going to have to tie, it, it really, we're going to have to tie our hands down. And <laughs> I know. <laughs> because you're going to see our hands go right in front of Madison my, and stuff. So. My best friend has but, uh, three deaf children, and my mom worked at the deaf and blind school. So yeah. sign language is something, and then you, you tend to, and as an educator, you tend to I move around a lot, so I'm going to be still. <laughs> it's pick on Scarlett. Now, Madison, <laughs> uh, what was your very first pageant? 
My first pageant was the Miss Sims pageant my sixth grade year. Um, I got fourth runner-up, and it was really just a great experience to start into the pageants because I knew as I got older I wanted to do more, um, but that was my first big pageant. Okay. Was you nervous? How old was you? Um, I want to say I was probably 13, right. maybe. Uh, I really honestly wasn't nervous because, you know, I do competition dance, so kind of getting on the stage in front of people I'm used to. Um, I think that kind of helped me a little bit and gave me a little bit more of a confidence boost being used to being on stage. So Now, what can you tell some uh, kids coming up that's young girls is wanting to be in the pageant? What are some of the uh, tips that you can give them uh, that will help them make that step? Uh, they might be a little nervous about it, uh, uh, not knowing certain things. What are some of the uh, steps that you can tell them that, that you took? For me, it was all about just having fun. I really didn't do it in the mindset of I want to get out here and win and be better than everybody. I went out and said, this is an experience. This is something that I want to do. I want to have fun with it. And it really was a fun experience. You and the girls that, you know, are the other contestants kind of get a better relationship and you really support each other. Um, so I, I would say just go out and have fun with it. Don't get too worked up about it. Don't be so self-tight about it. You know, just kind of have fun with it. Because so. you do make friends. Yes, you do. Pageants. Now, you did a pageant this past September. Yes, I did the Miss Uniquely Union pageant. That was my first pageant since seventh grade because there wasn't an eighth grade Miss Sims pageant because of COVID. Um, but I did do that one and won my division, and that was kind of my first step back into pageants. And once I did that one, I kind of was set. I was like, I want to start doing this, and that's when my goal of wanting to go to state um, came into place. And I was like, I want to keep doing it until I eventually get the opportunity to go. So, Right, and uh, now when you – if you get goals beyond the state, because I know that you're uh, getting prepared for that uh, – Miss Universe or, you know, the Miss USA and own up like that. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, uh, and, and people think that these pageants, when you win, you, uh, you, you get uh, the trophy. I'm going to uh, pull up this got a big trophy here that, uh, it, there, there we go, that, uh, I mean, that's, that's a nice trophy and, and, and to me, it's, a, it's 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 more than just a trophy that that you have to uh, actually do things to earn it, and plus to keep that title. It's not just a a, a title that you can uh, win and go home like you win a race or something like that. You you've got other things that you're doing uh, if you'd like to elaborate on, on that it's definitely not just doing a pageant and going home and saying you win it does take a lot of effort um into doing it you'd have to do a lot of community things being in co your community being active in your community um and that's actually kind of what i've started doing i've today actually started going into schools and reading books to the little kids um, which is really fun. So it's definitely a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. Well, that's great. And uh, I was going to let everybody know, if you call in 864-441-9382, it's on your screen right there. If you've got any questions that you want to ask uh, Madison or uh, any of us right here, anything about the pageants and, and some golds there, or maybe you have some questions on uh, tips on makeup or tips, something like that, you know, on, on how to do your hair. And uh, uh, my question is, how do you pick up a pick out those gorgeous dresses? It definitely is hard, especially when you're picky like I am. You want the perfect dress, the perfect color. Um, but honestly, it's just once you put on the dress that you know you want, you know that's that's the one, and that's kind of how it's been with all of my dresses. Now, when you pick them out, is it instantly, or do you have to go through a bunch? No, you definitely have to go through a bunch, but I have found that the first dress I try on is always the one that I go back to. Um, but I do definitely sit, would say you have to try on a bunch of dresses because you never know what style you want. And do do y'all do different categories like the evening wear, the sports wear? Yes. So for the Union County Fair pageant, it was actually just two categories. So you did your Western wear, which would be more of your casual wear, um, and then the evening gown. Um, but since I'm going to Miss South Carolina, there's interview 
um, where you get interviewed by the judges. You do a fitness wear where you kind of walk out and model a fitness outfit and do a little routine. Your talent category, which is, you know, whatever you do as a talent. And then your evening gown, which is where you do your walk and all of that. So what talent are you going to do? I'm dancing. That's dancing. That's, I think that's the best yes. talent oh. when you do them. Um, <laughs> I did dancing, but not the Wednesday dance. Uh, now, uh, and, now, <laughs> I wish Jerry what, what, would dance no, for no, us. Now, what, what kind of, what kind of uh, dance did you do at your, did, at your uh, when you got you crowned? Did even, you, get, did you win? You, this probably on a VHS somewhere, <laughs> and I'm going to find that and let you watch that. It was did, ridiculous. Did you win? I was in three different pageants. One, I only placed the top five. The second one was runner-up, and then the third one I did win, like a little Miss Sweetheart. But pageants are, it's not just it's not just vanity. Mm-mm. It is teamwork. It's discipline. It's confidence. And you learn a lot. You learn posture. You learn how to turn. I mean, have you had a coach, a pageant coach, show you? I do. Um, Amanda Upton has actually helped a lot. Um, she has done all of my headshots. She's kind of... Um, helping me do this journey, helping me, you know, point me in the right directions, how to speak, how to walk, doing my headshots and stuff like that. And she has been a very big help. Now, when you, I know you picking out the dresses, getting the perfect dress, shoes. Now, you got to do a lot of walking yes. in pageants. So do you look for comfort or you just look for that pretty shoe? I would say it's more on comfort for me personally because no matter how pretty the shoe is, if you're not comfortable in it and you don't feel comfortable walking in it, you're not going to be confident walking in it once you get out on stage. Um, so as long as it's comfortable to you, it doesn't matter how you look because as long as it's comfortable, you're going to have the confidence you need to go out on stage and do your walk. Yeah, that wouldn't. I can only imagine. I've seen someone wear those high heels. And I don't see how anybody walks in those things. It's got to kill your feet. Well, I heard you did some type of a pageant. Yes. Didn't didn't he? Yeah. Weren't you wearing like a red dress or? Right. Now that now that that, that was the womanless wedding. Womanless wedding. A womanless wedding. Tell I wore a beautiful red dress beautiful. with sequins yes. around it, the most gorgeous earrings that I could find, uh, a wig, and didn't wear <laughs> high heels because last time I did that it fell off the stage, but it was so beautiful that my wife says, "Look, you look so gorgeous. I can never wear that dress again." <laughs> So, was there music? I mean, was it a catwalk? Did you like two well, of course. snaps and a twist? Or right, I think it was an old song like "I Was Too Sexy for My Shirt" or something like oh, that. Yeah. I think it was, but you know. But anyway, it was. Uh, uh, we yeah. need clips of that. Oh yeah, well, I, is it on well, a VHS or is it further pro- back? No, they they they, the sent, they 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 sent it's on film. Right. It's on film. <laughs> yeah, it's on a film that rode like that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of you know it's one of those uh, ones that they uh, think. Thank goodness that they didn't have video back then like they do now with the with the phones and stuff. Uh, it's censored. Yes. It's censored. Yes. It's censored. <laughs> <laughs> so, needless to say, Madison, we know that you pick out the best because we we've, we've seen <laughs> your attire and stuff like that. Now, what are some of the things that you're going to be doing? I know that you've got uh, some uh, activities you got to do in the community and a, a certain amount of things and and certain things they kind of let you choose but yet they give you categories tell us a little bit about that so i have a social impact initiative which is called madison's bridge bridging the gap for families and heroes um and i'm mainly going to be kind of targeting the school age group you know five to twelve year olds um, and growing up, it was really important to me about having a support system. And lucky enough, I was fortunate enough to have my papa step in as my hero. Um, and that kind of really was a big part of my support system. And so I want kids to know, you know, no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are, what your family situation is, that you always have a support system to support you. Um, and he was also part of law enforcement for 32 years. So I also wanted to work with kids who have parents in law enforcement because that was a big part of 
his story. Um, and then as well as veterans, whether you know you had a parent that was injured or you lost a parent or a parent's deployed. So really, I just want to work with kids and let them know somebody's always going to have their back and somebody's always going to be standing up for them and they're always going to have a support system, even if you don't have, you know, a complete family. Well, and, and that's, that's, that's important amazing. nowadays for kids because now it's, it's so many uh, divisions in homes and, and, and a lot of kids uh, are latchkey tri- uh, kids. Now it's even worse because uh, you know, it's almost like that they have no one to talk to but a computer and no one to really uh, to be a role model. And, 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 I, and I commend you on that right there. Uh, uh what type of books do you do you read to them, or have you done that yet? Or I did read a book um, today, and it was about how anybody is welcome, no matter what you're going through, what you look like, um, what your religion is, you know, anything like that. No matter who you are, you're always welcome here. And that kind of related back to my social impact, which was a support system. No matter who you are, where you came from, what you do, you always have a place here, and you always have a place with somebody. So. Well, that's great because, that's yeah, because it's, you know, in, in books, people forget to read books. I mean, we, we grow up, it's, it's like writing in cursive and stuff like that. Uh, we, we uh, I, I understand one of the one schools is talking about how they gone back to teaching that on how to write cursive and stuff. And uh, I was really surprised at how many that can't read that and how many people surprised that kids does not, they don't read books anymore. It's, it's got to be visual. And I think they get a lot more meaning in reading the book, and they can go so many places, and they can just kind of watch it. To me, they wouldn't want me to read the book to them. It's, uh, I mean, I'm kind of a old redneck school, stuff like that. You know, I'll be uh, saying the wrong kind of words. They got some, pop-up books. Some of them words. Yeah, I can do that. Pictures, pop-up yeah. books. But some of them long words, you know, and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, you'd be in trouble there, too, wouldn't you? I would. Yeah. I, I was uh, in vocabulary building my senior year. Was. You was what? In vocabulary building my senior year. You was? Yeah. Oh. They needed to build my vocabulary. I had oh. to get past ain't and there and over yonder and skeeter and stuff. So what happened? I just, it didn't work. I didn't have a good English teacher. They, Who's your English yeah, teacher? They, 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 Miss Carol. Miss who? Mr. Carol. Yeah, Mr. Carol. Maybe I should have had Mr. Carol. Yeah, what, I don't remember they, mine. They, I think they, my high school is haunted by our English yeah, teacher. They, they, built, they build you up, but uh, somehow or another it crashed, didn't it? It did. <laughs> So you have a pageant in June. What's coming up in June? Um, the Miss South Carolina Teen Pageant. That was the state level that I had wanted to go to and work hard for. So, and oh, so what, what do you got to? Um, the, I know you you got certain things you got to do when you win the pageant here county wise. Uh, do they add anything extra to you that you have to do, or is this part of that? Um, so if you win the Miss South Carolina pageant, you do have to reign as the Miss South Carolina teen and serve, you know, in our state, not just the community. And then you go on to the um, Miss America teen, I think it is, and you go to the national title. So. Well, that's good. Now, uh, when you win the uh, South Carolina pageant, you have to do a lot of travel? Yes. You have, I would say you would have to travel around the state because obviously now, since I'm just Miss Union County Fair, I'm just serving in my community. But if I was to win Miss South Carolina Teen, I would have to be serving all over our state. So it would call for a lot of traveling. A lot so of tra- between now and June, you're doing a lot of community yes. stuff. I have a lot of exciting things planned. Um, one which is coming up, which is the Princess Tea Party. Let's talk about that. Princess Tea Party. I like the flower. Flower. Thank you. I do graphics and stuff, so I, I kind of always look at little things like that. Did a good job on it. And um, this is uh, February the 4th from 2 to 5 p.m. And it's on 107 Main Street. Um, where's that on 107 Main Street? Where? Is, what building is that? Main Street Junction. Main Street Junction. That's what I thought it was. And I've, I've done a lot of events there. Now, uh, the cost is a $25 donation. And tell us a little bit, uh, I love to wear your favorite dress and stuff and make them look like princess. Tell us about this. Um, So I know that when I was little, I loved dressing up as princesses, and I wanted to give little girls the opportunity to unleash their inner princess and dress up and come have a tea party, and we're going to have little cookies for them to decorate. 
um, like little crowns and hearts and some snacks for them to eat and, you know, have a little picture booth where they can take pictures with me and with each other. I think it would just be a little fun get together to have a little princess tea party for everybody. That's beautiful. Yeah, that, I, I, think I it love is. that. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, do you have this flyer going out to all the schools? I don't right at this moment, okay. um, but I am working on that, and it is published on my social media pages. Uh, and speaking of social media, tell how people how they can reach you, how they can um, see you. So on Instagram, it is under Miss Union County Fair Teen, and then on there is a link on my Instagram bio to go to my Facebook page, and it's just a page you can go and like. Um, and I'll be posting all my upcoming events and things that I'm kind of working on between now and June on there so you can keep up with my journey. Right, and you can also contact Miss Union County Fair Team at gmail.com. Yeah, I happen to read that right there. Now, what are some of the I know you're going to have drinks, light snacks will be served. I'm interested in the cookie decorating. Um, so it's going to be little plain sugar cookies, and we're going to have different icings for them to use, and they can decorate a little crown however they want it or a little heart however they want it and take it home. It's just a little fun activity for them to do. Okay. And are you going to uh, – I know this is from 2 to 5 p.m., and it's squeezing a lot of things in there. And, you didn't uh, put an age on this, so you're going like 12 and under. Yes. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, I've seen that somewhere. No, I think it was in a – something I read. But it's good, uh, 12 and under, and uh, you can contact, like I said, on your Facebook page or Instagram. So they got a, a many ways to contact you, and we'll take and put that link in, in our show here. That way they'll know the link to, to get a hold of you there also. And you got Venmo, which is good. That way when people love Venmo because they don't have to come up and travel to give you this right here. And it is a $25 donation. And when they say donation, let people know what the donation is for. Um, so the donation is actually going to be divided. Some of it is going to help me in my journey in going to South Carolina, and then the other part is actually going to be going to help um, local law enforcement. Oh, that sounds That's great. That's awesome. And I'll tell you what, the first person that will call 864-441-9382, we will donate to you today. We'll donate so, a, thank a you child's so much. visit. Exactly. So what you think? We'll donate a child's visit to this, a $25. Exactly. For yes. your child to go to Madison's Tea Party. That's right. So we're waiting on one call and to come in. That's what we're going to do. comments coming in. Kim Moore says, I'm watching you. Love you, Madison. Amy Jett Wiley says, Madison is such a pretty young lady, and she is. Um, now, Julie Gregory said, um, you may be a little biased. So that must be family. <laughs> um, Kathy Christian Gregory says, I love you so much, and I know your papa is so proud of you. He surely is smiling down on you. Do you want to talk about your papa a little bit? He was definitely a big part of my life. What was his name? Pa uh, Roger Gregory. Okay. Um, he stepped in when I was at a very young age and taught me all kinds of things from fishing and shooting my first gun and how to be safe around guns to just life advice that you would need in the future. He was definitely my hero and my rock, yeah. for sure. Did he have a, a saying? Like, you know how grandpas or grandmas usually have a saying. He had time. a lot of sayings. <laughs> um, some of them I probably Didn't. should not say. <laughs> um but I think the one that I probably heard the most was there's a right way and there's a wrong way and there's no in between. And if you're on time, you're late. He was always early everywhere he goes. And those were the two that he drilled into my head for sure. Well, that's uh, – I'm particular on time. I'm, I'm a time fanatic and uh, I, I'm, I'm like him. If you're on time, you're late. And, and, that's, and that's great advice. Now um, – you have some other things going on, too. Yes. You want to talk a little bit about those also? Um, so I actually, like I said earlier, started today reading in schools, and my goal is to go. I'm starting with Buffalo. I'm there for this week and next week. And then the last week of February, first week of March, I'm going to be going to Monarch. Um, and then hopefully after that, reaching Foster Park and Jonesville. Um I also am planning a little dance-a-thon, um, and it's coming up. I'm not sure exactly on the date yet, um, but it's going to be probably either in the morning or evening, and it's where little girls can come to my dance studio 
and just, you know, their parents will drop them off. We'll teach them a little dance, do some fun games with them, let them have a little parents' night out. They come back, pick them up, and they can show them the dance that I taught them. Um, and then I also have, this is a very big project that I'm working on, but it is a family day for law enforcement and veterans. Um, I'm not sure of, you know, the location and everything, but it's where law enforcement veterans can bring their children and have a little family day, eat, have some games, um, and just a time to kind of, you know, come together. That is beautiful. And all of that, once it's planned and set in stone, there will be updates on that on my social media pages. And if someone wants to just personally donate to you, you've got your Venmo and your email and things here. Right. They can, uh. Contact Julie Gregory at 1980. Uh, they can use PayPal at Julie Gregory at 35. That's how old she is. And, uh, and catch Cash App, too. So we got all kinds of things that they can donate to you or do it to in person. And or they can call us or let us know. We can tell them how to get in contact with you either way it goes. Uh, but it sounds like you got a lot of things going on in a short time uh, because I know that you want to get a lot of this done before June. Because you're going to have another thing added to your plate. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you put an age group on dance. Oh, because Sarah Shh. needed to go to this dance. No, no. Can, it can be an exception because he can bring the camera. Uh, and that's another media no, I, event that you need. I have seen the video of her dancing. Believe me. I'm awesome. I'm glad you put it. He's, he's, it's like, like my daughter says, you're just old. You're just slow. You don't know what's up. It's not fire. And that's what you she's, know what y'all say? That's fire? Fire. Yeah. Yeah, if something's cool, it's not cool, or trendy, or hot, it's, that's fire. <laughs> See, I know this stuff. So, Angie, yeah. you have this Miss South Carolina team pageant coming up, and there are phases of this competition, right? What are some of those phases? Um, so, it's a week-long thing. So, like, I'll check in on Friday and go through Sunday, and then each night um, throughout the day there will be rehearsal, you know, for an opening number, and then one night I'll do an interview One night I'll do my talent, one night I'll do the fitness wear, and then one night I'll do my evening gown. Um, And then something that I think is really nice is after, you know, rehearsals and stuff, all the contestants will get together and maybe have a little dinner or a little slumber party just for us to all get to know each other. And we're actually going to get to see each other in March, I believe, um, and finally meet everybody in person, and I'm really excited about that. Yeah, you make good friends. Uh, the girl and I, the girl that won the pageant that I did run her up, she worked at the Win Dixie, and I worked at the Bilo. And we would call each other during our breaks and just talk to each other. You make really good friends. That's mm. kind of what I was. You do. You, know, you don't have a competitive spirit. I mean, it's right. competitive, but at the same time, it's a social. I think it builds confidence. And I that's don't think what I was in for it for. I wanted to go to build relationships, meet new people, and I think it would be a really fun experience and opportunity. So. I hope you go all the way. Yeah, you'll, 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 you'll meet a, a lot of people, and you'll get a lot of respect, and uh, and, and kind of changes a lot of us older people's concept. When you're uh, pushing concept. 50, you'll get made fun of. It, uh, because it, she's it, living back in that day. It Mom, wear your tiara. <laughs> I'm going to have to call your daughter. Uh, It gives us a different perspective on younger people. That's what it does uh, because we hear so much, a lot of bad things that's happening with the drugs and and, and younger folks now, and it's really refreshing to hear about uh, things that you're doing that's helping some of the older folks and the police officers that put their life on the line every single day uh, to, to help us and keep us safe. And, and you're committing yourself and doing these things, and you have gold set up. And, you're, you know, you're 16 years old, and I know at 16 years old my goal was make sure I can cover up the fl- uh, rusted floorboard in my car where the water don't splash <laughs> on me. That was my goal, to make sure I had some carpet. But, uh, was but, that shag? Uh, of course. <laughs> Uh, the 70s. That's coming back, though. Yeah, the 70s, you know see? What carpet is? Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it either, and you don't want avocado and green appliances either. <laughs> so, but it, uh, but, but it does. It, it shows this generation, and, and, and with your goals and, and what you're putting out there, it, it really lets us smile because we're seeing that you're doing things. 
to, to help others and, and yourself too because all these right here whether you know it or not when years on down the road you're going to look back and you're going to see where someone's going to say we want to hire her because we remember something that you did in your past and if someone can remember something in your past that's great that you've done that's always a plus and and you just keep doing those things and, and you learn, never you be learn not to burn bridges I mean, at a very young age, you learn not to burn bridges with people. Have I burned a bridge? I can carpet it for you. Well, yeah, yeah. You can get yeah, I'll go get some shag carpet for <laughs> Gee, There's scholarships involved in pageants now, like big-time scholarships. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, so, in the past Miss South Carolina teen pageant in 2022, um, there was more than $113,000 worth of scholarship grants handed out to all of the 51 contestants that competed um and i think honestly that is a good opportunity to go along with pageants is because you're not just in it you know to walk across the stage and look pretty in a dress you're also in it for scholarship opportunities and i think it's really good to you know encourage girls to get into pageants for scholarships and to help them with their future goals and future plans so now, at the high school, uh, do you have some of your friends there that's encouraging you or that, that you're, you're kind of a mentor uh, to, to to kind of help guide them and maybe in that same direction that you're going for as, uh, in, in pageants? Because a lot of them, uh, girls think now, oh, it's just kind of old-fashioned stuff, you know. I definitely have a very small, tight group of friends that have supported me through everything that I've done, and I'm very grateful for them, so. Well, it's nothing like great friends to support you like that. Um, and our comments are like blowing off the roof here. She's got Donna says she is beautiful. Kathy said so graceful. Uh, Madison is beautiful, such an inspiration for young girls. My beauty queen, she is absolutely beautiful. And then Hannah said, Hannah Brewington, I couldn't have chosen a better girl for my girls to look up to. We adore this sweet, gorgeous girl. So yeah. that that's awesome. Now, do you... I don't, on another spectrum, how do you deal with criticism, and have you had any of that? I actually have not. I don't. I want to say I haven't came across any criticism from you know younger people. Mm -hmm. As far as older adults, I definitely have. You know, saying congratulations, you look beautiful. As far as constructive criticism or bad criticism, I think I've definitely taken it to a constructive criticism kind of way, um, to where it pushes you to do better and it pushes you to. Um, work harder and fix your mistakes because you know people they're going to help you they're going to give you advice that you could definitely if it's bad turn it into something good and something positive um so i think criticism is definitely good it helps you and it makes you work harder well i think it does i think uh, criticism uh, will build you stronger and make you research things so sometimes we get in a box and we don't look outside that box. It's like playing checkers. I don't know if you ever played checkers yes. or not. That if you're playing checkers and you're right there and you're standing and watching the moves, you see the better moves by standing and watching. Well, the same thing is with with, with that, that sometimes people on the outside will say something and tell me that, okay, we need to do this right here. Uh, I get it a lot. As you get older, you get more <laughs> criticism a lot. And, uh, and and you just have to handle it in a different way. And if it's and if it's a negative like that, like you say, you turn it into a positive, you know, uh, how are they looking at it? You know, how, how are they looking at me and how I want to be, you know, looked at. And 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 I think you, you, you said the right direction is just looking at it as a as a positive thing. And so I think that's amazing because you do, you are going to come across jealousy. Have you come across any jealousy? Yes. Even from middle school, you know, girls, they can be your best friend, but they can also be jealous. And I think that's just something that, again, you have to turn into something positive and turn it into, you know, working harder and doing better. So. And not let yourself get upset yeah, over it. it. Yeah. Well, you, and you got, this you got, is you, a goal. This is a yeah. true, you know. A lot of people will say, well, why are you doing this or why are you doing that? You know, that, or I wish I could do this or I wish I had what you had. And you just, you know, your choices are different than everybody else's choices. I think and, you're and, making great choices. And, and you got to look at the age, too. You know, you, you, you got little kids, stuff like that, that really doesn't know. And they'll, they'll, they'll say mean things to you. The you little know. girls love beauty queens. <laughs> and they love princesses. And you have to do it for them. You just, yeah. I mean, doing it for yourself. But it's, 
You're making a statement in Union County, and you are a household name in Union County now. Yeah. All them parades, all them people. I mean, did you throw any candy out? No, I didn't. Oh, oh well. Interview's over. No. <laughs> Well, they, threw, they threw some candy and uh, some. <laughs> you know what? They threw them candy hard too. <laughs> so, Madison, if Jerry wore a sash, what do you think his sash should say? If oh we no! Get him dressed up. Oh no! Well, from talking earlier before we started, it sounded like he did a lot of things. I think you should have a sash that says, you know, person who does a lot of jobs. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Person who does a well, lot of jobs. Of, <laughs> a man of many hats. As, as, you as, know. A master of none, you know. and uh, A jack of all trades. Yeah. 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 But it's, uh, yeah, I can bet it's I, you know, I, Not the little kids make fun of me. It's the older people that get me. <laughs> I think I'd love it. I don't think we would make it. We'd be laughing with you. What? Not at you. Laughing right. with oh, you. Oh, yes, yes. Well, you know, I'm, I, I, I like uh, doing jokes anyway and. And playing jokes on people, and you can ask my wife. I torture her a lot, a lot of different things, and uh, so she's uh, she's gotten used to it, maybe. <laughs> so, but you know, and and, and it is you just got to take and and I know when uh, you dress up real pretty and, and and out there, and there's this little bitty child coming to like 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 four years old like that. It's just like, and all that's got to melt your heart, don't it? Yes, I actually today it was really funny. I was reading a book and, and I had them, you know, had the opportunity to ask me questions. And this one kid, he looked at me and he said, "Do you live in a castle?" And I was like, <laughs> "I wish." But sweet moments like that, um, I can actually remember one a couple of weeks ago where a little girl um, who was in the stands came and sat beside me while I was cheering and sat and cheered with me for the rest of the game. And it's just moments like that that make your day. They're That's very good. sweet. Yeah. Now, when you were younger. Did you see a beauty queen? I mean, what what just kind of like, I love this. What kind of gave you that, I, I want this? For as long as I can remember, I remember every time there was the Miss United States pageant or the Miss America mm -hmm. or Miss South Carolina pageant, me and my mom would always watch it every night. And I just remember, I want to be one of them. You know, I want to wear a crown. And I just think it was always so fun to watch, and I wanted to get involved in it. So. And I bet you said those football games, I want to be one of them cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did go to a bunch of the Carolina games when I was younger, and it was definitely fun watching the cheerleaders. So. Yeah, well, that's uh, to me. I, they wouldn't let me be a cheerleader. <laughs> I wouldn't they fit in a dress anyway. Now. Well, I wouldn't fit in a dress. Uh, it's one of the outfits. It's kind of <laughs> awful. But uh, now, when you're cheerleading, does does your voice ever give out any? It does. After, when you get, you know, that one game and you get into it and you are very, you know, excited and want to cheer them on and you scream as loud as you can and as hard as you can constantly, when you get home, your voice gets a little tired and your throat hurts a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. It's really fun. Well, I know my sister, uh, she used to be a cheerleader when I was growing up when I was in elementary school, actually, and uh, she always took, out, took lemons mm -hmm. with her. Have you, did her. you know that lemon will help your voice? I've never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. So she always, I was always wondering that. No, I do not. You don't do tumble. You don't tumble? You don't throw are you up a, and are stuff you a like fire? that? I am a you fire. are a fire. Yeah. I was a fire. You was a what? It's the girl that's on top of the pyramid. Yeah. The flyer. You was a flyer? Have you ever failed? Yes. I actually, in middle school, fell and broke my foot from it. But I didn't break anything, but I did fall at a basketball game once. And I remember our cheerleading coach was staring straight at me, and she was saying, no, 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 <laughs> as I was, you know. And We'll have to do a video of me throwing you up flying. Oh, gosh, I don't think you could lift me now. Because, I mean, I, oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Um, but, so, I forgot. you made me forget yeah. what I was going to ask her. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I'm sure she don't want to see that either. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's gonna want to see anything like that. He's so crazy. Oh, Jerry's so crazy. No, but uh, but I, I I know that helps you and has helped you in the pageantry because of uh, you have you have to have stamina. It, it, it's it's not people think it's easy. Just you walk across the stage, you do this right here, and you go back. But it's it's a it's a lot of um, tension, stress, and I know all, sometimes it's not the coolest places in the world either. It's like you just be sweat. You got to do things to not make you sweat and stuff like that. Which 
what do you do when you have, and you get a hot place like that and it's but do you do you got anything that that you do to that will keep you from sweating or not really i think out of everything with the pageant the biggest thing is confidence you just no matter how hot it is how cold it is how bad you your feet hurt from walking the biggest thing is confidence because as if you have a lot of confidence people are going to be able to tell and your adrenaline will get you yes and i think confidence is one of the main things that gets you through a pageant i think you just you got to have the confidence that you're going to get out there and do great and you will it pays off what was one of the questions? I know they ask you questions when you're out on stage like that. What is one of the hardest questions that they ask you? Can you I remember? I haven't actually had an on stage question yet. When I did the Miss Sims pageants, um, the questions were in interviews before the pageant. I really don't remember any of the questions, but I do know that we filled out a piece of paper about us, and they asked us questions based on that, so I don't think there was really any hard ones. Okay, because I know I've seen – like to Miss USA yeah. and that they come out and they ask them uh, Miss South Carolina pageant. I know the one was kind of funny that, uh, that they asked her, but uh, I, I can't remember the question now, but the way she answered it was, and, and people thought, well, gosh, why didn't she answer that better? But I know you got a bunch of people out there in front of you. It, it gets scary. And believe it or not, I can talk, anytime but i could talk in thousands of people easier than i can talk to 10 because with 10 you got you, you got to direct attention mm-hmm. but with thousands of them you're just kind of looking around stuff like that and and miss universe pageant did you watch that when steve harvey crowned the wrong I person did. that i was watching it that night and i was like and then when he had to like correct that and the tears i've I mean, seen that that was something else and you have a role model Who's your role model? My role model is definitely my mom. She is my best friend. She's definitely the one that's taught me if you want something, you've got to work hard for it. And she is the one that I look up to the most. So. Well, that's, Did she that's, teach you how to do your makeup when you were younger? Yes. She used to do my makeup for dance competitions, and I remember them early mornings was not fun, but... <laughs> She definitely was the one who taught me how to do my makeup. Sweet. Now, did she encourage you or did you demand? My daughter was demanding, very demanding about getting her hair makeup curled all the time. I definitely was the more demanding one, and I was very picky. So if she curled it and there was a piece that I didn't like, I'd make her brush it out and redo Mm -hmm. it. It, it, I was very picky, and it had to be perfect. That's something. And my mom used to do mine, but now when we did mine, it was hot rollers. We used hot rollers when I was younger. Oh, now, who is Kevin Brewington? Got any pictures of that one? So, Kevin Brewington is definitely another role model in my life. He, um, His two little girls, J.C. and Tinsley, are my little babies. I love their family so much. Um, they actually had a organization, Tunnels to Towers, come and pay off their mortgage and remodel their house to where it was more um, easier to be accessed by him since he is in a wheelchair. Um, and they invited me to come be a part of the ribbon cutting ceremony, and that was a very fun experience. That's awesome. How many um, ribbon cuttings have you been at so far? Just one. Just one, Just like that. that one. Well, I know the the chamber has a lot of ribbon cuttings uh, when new businesses come in and stuff like that. I've been a part of some of those, uh, video in part, not cutting. And so I imagine some more businesses coming in, they'll be calling upon you to, to come and because everybody wants someone beautiful to sit there to, to cut ribbons. They they don't want us there to cut the ribbon, do they? I, no, I'm good with Me. shears. I'm yeah. really good with shears. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. I will say cheers. Oh, no. We should have up a again. ribbon cutting for our podcast. We need to let Edna do that. Yeah, I'll put a little one right here. We'll cut okay, it. Okay, next week. Now, you're going to do some fundraisers for our first responders and the military. What are you thinking? So, um, the first responders day, the family day, that's kind of the most big fundraiser that I have. And like I said, it's still in the works of being planned. Um, but I definitely do want to plan a lot more little ones in between these big ones that I'm planning. Um, cause I want to do as much as I can for the community and really get out there and help a bunch of people. And there's a lot that I want to do. So you ever heard, uh, the Western bound Yes. Like that, my granddaughter went on that, and my grandson's uh, getting ready to go on that too. I've had a bunch of people tell me that it's a really good experience, and I love to travel. I just don't think I could be away from my mom that long 
Yeah, it's where all do they go? It's well, they go all across the United States. They go down and around through California, back up around. They go to different colleges. Uh, they work as a group, and they almost almost like camp out. They cook the food together. They have to wash it together. They got uh, one week. This group cooks one week. That group goes buys the groceries. This group it teaches a lot of togetherness and stuff. And when they ride on the buses and things, they change seating to where you're not just the same person. To get used to one person, once you get used to everyone else, and it really is a great organization. And uh, here I'm giving them a hug, but it's okay. Uh, but the first thing they do, you got phones, cell phones. They say yes, give them to your parents. You don't can't take them with you. As much as I love to travel, I am very much a homebody, and I love my phone, so I don't think I could <laughs> be away from them and my family and friends for that long, but I have heard that it is a really fun. Yeah. Well, experience. when they all left, there's a lot, a lot of tears, that, uh, a lot of tears, and it wasn't tears because they was leaving the family, <laughs> it's tears because they're leaving their phones. <laughs> And uh, we're going to give you first one of your, one of your you donations. Thank you so much. Here. I uh, appreciate so it. So maybe a, a child can go or, or whatever like that. But, uh, you know, you don't have, just keep up the great work that you're doing uh, uh, and getting these together. Anything that we can help you with, just let us know, whether it be advertisement, just send me something or other, or let me know, and we'll, we'll put it out there for other people to see. We'll, we'll put the links out there where they can get a hold of you and uh, how they can uh, – you know, come to this Princess Tea Party, because that sounds like fun. I appreciate it very much, and thank y'all for having me on tonight. I really appreciate it. Well, we're glad to have you. Absolutely. We, we, we we're gotta, so we're, thankful that you're here. Yeah, I was, I was glad to have, you know, a, well, I'm not saying shark stories. Now, I had a few questions. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. So, like, if the businesses in town wanted you, let's say a boutique in town said, I really like the Madison to wear this to one of the the readings at the elementary schools. Would you be willing to, yes, if absolutely. they gave you an outfit or something? Yes. Another thing, are, do you use the eyelash curler? No. You don't? There's eyelashes. Are, oh, you're absolutely beautiful. Thank Aren't you. And she's gorgeous. And then the red dress, yes. the evening gown. Yes. Where was that from? It was actually from Sheen. Um, oh, wow. Yes. That's awesome. It was, you know, I was really shocked when it came in. But it it's from Sheen, and a lot of people have been very surprised by it. Because usually when you order dresses and they come mm -hmm. in, it's either going to, because I, I had to order five different dresses for my daughter's wedding and only one of them fit. And even that was kind of like, I don't know. But you are so beautiful Thank and so talented so and so smart and you're such an inspiration. Well, so that, that's pretty, be pretty nice, you know, if uh, some of the boutiques and stuff like that says, look, we're going to furnish your dresses for you because, you know, we know that it's expensive. Yeah. Uh, we got a daughter, we got a granddaughter. They the cotillions and all these things right here they went to, and some of the dresses is just outrageous. Uh, men, we can jump in anything. We don't care. Uh, but I think some of the vocations, just for them to get the plug of saying, this is brought to you by this right here. And that, that to me, would help you out, and especially the parents out, uh, and and. And plus, they got some. They got some beautiful gowns. I would love to do that. And I if our community that. got behind you and pushed you all the way, that mm -hmm. would be awesome. Exactly. Yes. To have a Miss America, Miss USA, Miss Universe, right here, and then you would come back. Would you know who we were? Yes. Would she, she, would have, she, she didn't know. Who we oh were. yeah, she she she'd know you. All you got to do is do the Wednesday dance, and she'll know who exactly who it I'm is. I'm gonna get Aubrey, my son, to. <laughs> To teach Jerry that Wednesday that he's going to have to do it. We might have to do it to a different song. I don't really like the song it's to, but. Well, that's the one you have to do it with. We'll do it. Now, um, you know, it's, it's one thing I noticed in, in Union they haven't had, unless I have I missed it somewhere because I'm not in the fashion, is a fashion show. I've never heard of a fashion show. And, and, and to me, that would be a great thing to have to showcase some of the businesses, some of the boutiques, some of their uh, fashions and stuff like that. And, uh, and 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 sell the dresses and things that that you're modeling, because yeah. you know the bigger cities and have it and everything like that. And I think that would be great. That would be awesome. I think that would be really a fashion fun. show together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, we can be in it. I, 
<laughs> Jerry's just making fun of me all night. Jerry can be in this fashion show, and please allow me to dress him in drag. Let me do the hair, <laughs> makeup, and pick the outfit, because you wouldn't know who he was when I got through with him. Uh, oh, yeah, they would. <laughs> but um, fashion shows are awesome, and they're good fundraisers, too, and you can sell tickets, and that that's amazing. And then also, have you thought about anything else other than the pageants, like modeling or... Not really, no. I would love to get into modeling, but, you know, between dance and cheer and now this pageant stuff, I honestly, I don't know when I would do it. Yeah. I'm so busy, and I love staying busy. I love being involved in a bunch of things um, like cheer and dance and my youth group and pageants and all that. I stay pretty busy. So where do you go to church? I go to Tabernacle Baptist Church. Okay. Um, who's your photographer? Amanda Upton. She has Amanda. She has done. Um, I gotta give her a plug. And Audrey Robinson. Mm-hmm. She took my birthday both pictures. Um, love Audrey and yeah. Amanda. They are both my favorites. So. Right. Now, do they? Uh, do they tell you how to pose and what you look like and special lighting and all that? Else? So, so people think that you just go up and take a snapshot, just like a, on your phone, and yeah. that's it. It's, it's not like that. It's really uh, an art yeah. to it, and you know they can make you look beautiful. Or they can make you look kind of shabby and washed out, and uh, you know it's it's, uh, and they don't get the credit they, they deserve because they they really work hard at it. They really do. One of my best friends is a photographer, and she she's excited. she will exhaust you. Admit the models get exhausted because of the lights and the, the outfit changes and the makeup, and it's hard to do these things. People yeah. think it's vain, but it's not. The stuff's hard, and you work really hard doing it, and. I'm just glad they do scholarships. I'm glad they do prizes and and things like that. And what you're doing for our heroes and the military and yeah. veterans, is, that's very admirable. Yeah. I just want to thank you for doing it. Well, and, and, you know, this community is, uh, and a lot of people, you, you hear a lot of some negatives in union. And, and we're trying to, in our broadcast, take away negatives. We want to tell people, and and show events that's happening here and showcase different ones uh that are here that um uh, to build union up because the union's a great town uh i've seen it happen where someone's uh had their home burn up recently and they stepped in and and the community come together and raised all this money to help them uh to establish that i mean you can't replace things in the home but to help them just get over that a little bit and these pageants and things like that. I know different businesses. They they step up and do it. Uh, I know your Tahara. I don't know who uh, made that. Your crown. Oh, it's from the Miss South Carolina organization. Okay. Uh, they sent me that crown. So. Oh well, great. Well, that's good because they used to have uh, some locals here make it. I know uh, Keepsake Jewelers used to make. Some of them. I'm not sure who made my. And uh, and then they would they would donate that to uh, some of the pageantries and stuff right here, and um, and they used to have quite a few of these and they don't have that many anymore, uh, except for you know of course they had at the fair of course, and how many how many was in the competition there? I want to say in the fair pageant there was 32. I want to say. I think I was the last contestant, and I was 32, so I think there was 32 girls. So how many tiaras and um, trophies do you have at home now? Do you, Have you displayed them? Because I, I know have, that's a big deal. I have all of my dance trophies out. Um, I actually have the Miss Uniquely Union crown, the big crown I wore in the fair pageant, and now this crown. So it's getting there. And you have all kind of ribbons and things and yes i have lots of trophies and medals and sashes and ribbons and stuff from dance competitions and now pageants wow. and a lot of people don't know but these things that she's done are great to put on your applications for college because when you get accepted they want to see everything that you've done from kindergarten up exactly exactly and i wasn't sporty i was a cheerleader but like i couldn't have done basketball or volleyball that way i mean i helped work the concession when my friends did that kind of stuff but when you're a girly girl, you're a girly girl, yeah. and you do it right. I'm definitely you, a girly girl. <laughs> you got any trophies? I do. You do you? I do. I had some of them are broken though, because like over the years, you you box that stuff up and it goes into a building, and it's like 
Now, my kids make fun of me. I'm like, I'm not throwing that away. Well, it's like not throwing it away. It's forever. It's like, and I still work in the town I grew up in. That's terrible. It's like Reba well, all over again. It, it, like, it, it, yes, I know. It, 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 uh, but, you know, I, I, I've got a trophy. Go get it. It's a, it's a ship on a stick, I call it. And guess what I won that for? What did you win it for? It was on a cruise, and they says, the one that can do the best belly buster. In the pool? In the pool. Well, of course in the pool. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Now they, they did <laughs> Yeah, that on the sidewalk, I can do it. <laughs> 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 so I jumped off, and <laughs> these others didn't know how to do a belly bust. They just jumped in. Well, I splattered it good. I had a red nose, belly, and everything, and I was sitting there with my little beast. Ship on a stick. I won. No teeth and all that, you know, I could out. But I got that ship, oh. And I went I limping off. Hurt. So, anyway. It's that's, amazing what you do for a prize. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yes. Gosh. They told me, they said, jump off the ship. And we'll give you the stick. Okay. <laughs> but, Madison, we thank you for being on our show. Thank you for having me. And, again, uh, we'll be praying for you and for your uh, endeavors and, and everything that you're doing here and uh, we know that the community is going to be behind you I know we will and we just just so glad that you won thank you I'm very excited I think this is going to be a really fun good learning experience it is and you know what you're only 16 the world is in your hands you're going to I'm just looking forward for the next five years you can't go with what next five years you want to be at uh, the fifth year or I really I don't know too there's far a, ahead there's a lot that I want to do I have a lot of goals set but there's mm. there's a lot that I want to do between now and then so well we appreciate you coming thank out thank you for having me again I really do appreciate it I gotta get my little buttons here I'm glad did you enjoy it yes and get this up here. And that give you that practice for those interviews to come. That's it. And then she's going to get them other interviews. She says, oh, boy, them old corn holes. <laughs> I tell you that. I, why in the world did I do that? She's going to look back on this video, interview like that. She's going to say, oh, no. <laughs> but we have a great time. We did. We and did. Uh, we want to thank time. everybody for watching. And that will watch later on also since you couldn't make it tonight. And stay tuned next week. we got Aubrey from the Wildwood Ranch that owns that. We're going to be showing you some pictures there. And he's going to tell you about all the venues and all the things and hard work he's done there. And we want to thank you for watching. And uh, don't call the number now because we're getting ready to go. Tell them bye, Scarlett. Bye, and thank you for watching.